Along with that, I also study the scripture. I study the Bible. I did go to church for years. And this is the things that I know to be true. I need y'all to understand something. It is not a miraculous thing or a show of godliness to claim that Christ was real or to claim that there is a God. Every spiritual entity knows that Christ is real and knows who he is. And every spiritual entity knows that there is a God. That goes to show nothing of the character of a person or who their source is. Most atheists know that Christ actually did walk the earth. He is incredibly historically documented and there's over 500 eyewitness accounts of his life in whole. Now getting into this, there are countless testimonies of mediums, of psychic mediums, including myself, <laughs> coming out of that because they met the one true Christ and because Christ reveals what that truth is. I'm not making this video to call this woman out. It's, I'm sure she's very nice and I'm sure that she means well, but I need you to listen to what she's saying. Previously, she didn't believe there was a hell at all. She completely rejected it. All of a sudden, oh no, you're right, hell is real. And if it is real, it's on earth. Ma'am, biblically, hell is in the earth. Hell is on earth. It is also a very real and legitimate spiritual dimension. You say that you've studied scripture and you encourage people, yeah, Jesus was real, read the red words. That's 100% true, you say. Read the red words. Jesus talks about hell. He warns his people about hell. He warns everyone about the spiritual realities of what is going on here. You say our one job is to love people while here on earth. I fully agree with you. Love equals truth. If you are loving people without speaking the hard truth, that is not love. That is not love. Look to Christ about what real love is because he is the only one that was able to tell it to us like we needed to hear it straight up. He did not sugarcoat it and he didn't not say things because it was scary or it was gonna hurt our feelings. He came to save our freaking souls. That is love. The real Christ is not going to reveal a special truth to you, someone who practices what he actively condemns in his word, in his words, and not reveal it to hundreds of thousands, millions of people who love him with everything, seek him with everything. He is speaking the truth all the time and he does not change. And if you believe that the real Christ came to you and said something different, you need to check on that.